Hi, boys and girls. I hope you're having a great day. And I'm very excited to be able to be reading your read aloud to you today. Today, we're going to be reading the book called The Legends of Jake, the Salty Dog. Before we start reading, I wanted to ask you some questions. Have you ever been on a boat before? What was it like to be on the boat? Was the water calm and still and the boat kind of just floated along nice and enjoyable? Or was the water rough and it made the boat go up and down and you kind of were moving all around a lot? What was it like when you went on a boat, if you've ever gone on one? Yeah, so we all might have had different experiences going on a boat, right? So in this book, The Legends of Jake the Salty Dog, we're going to read about Jake the dog and his owner, who happens to be a fisherman. Now, fishermen are people who they fish for a living. That's their job. Their job is to catch fish and to bring fish back to markets for people to buy. Well, in this story, Jake and his owner, the fisherman, they're out on the boat going to catch some fish. But something happens while they're out there. And we're going to read to find out what happens to Jake, the salty dog, and his owner, the fisherman. I hope you enjoy this read aloud. Jake, the legend of Jake the Salty Dog. The legend of Jake the Salty Dog. Let's go down south to the beach. South Beach is the home of Captain John and his best friend, Jake. There's John and there's Jake. And this sign says South Beach. That's the setting. That's where they are. John earned his living as a fisherman. Jake shared John's love for the sea. What do we see Jake doing here? What is he doing? Yeah, he's fishing. And the words tell us that he loves the sea, just like Captain John. Let's look at this beautiful illustration. We see a boat sailing through the water. And on here on the boat, is the boat's name, and the boat's name is Salty Dog. Here we see Jake, and there's Captain John. He's on the inside because he's driving the boat. Early one Friday morning, John powered up their 36-foot fishing vessel and headed for the deep blue sea. What do you think they're going to do? Why do you think they're heading out to the deep blue sea? Do you think maybe they're going to try and catch some fish? Because that's what Captain John's job is. He's a fisherman. I don't know, let's read and see if, that, that's, what, if that's right, let's see. It was a good day for fishing. The fish were practically jumping in the boat. We were right, they went fishing. The flying fish were flying. There they are, soaring through the air. And the jumping fish were jumping. A dolphin jumped so high that he was flying. I love dolphins. I went swimming with dolphins one time. It was a wonderful experience. Let's keep reading. A chorus of seagulls sang their praises 
to a beautiful day. John sat on the back deck, sorting their catch, while John kept a watchful eye on a distant storm. Oh no. Suddenly, the sky began to darken and the wind whipped to 60 knots. What do you think is going to happen? Turn and tell somebody that is with you. What do you think is going to happen in the book? Now tell me. So what I'm hearing is that you think there's going to be a storm. Maybe I see dark clouds and the wind, the words say that the wind was started to started whipping. Maybe there's going to be a storm. What will happen? Then do we think to Captain John and his dog, Jake? Let's see. Oh my. Then out of nowhere, the salty dog was slammed by a 20 foot rogue wave. Jake dug his paws into the deck and tried to fend off the storm with his mightiest growl. Grrr. Jake's trying to scare the storm off. Do you think that's gonna work? Can a dog scare a storm away? I don't think so. Let's keep going. But it was too late. The next 20 footer engulfed the small craft. Look at that picture. Look at that. Oh no. Jake and John were tossed into the raging sea. It's terrible. Jake instinctively swam to his master's side. Why do you think Jake swam to John's side? What does it look like he's trying to do? Turn to someone next to you and tell them, what do you think Jake's trying to do? You think that maybe he's trying to help John so that John doesn't drown? I agree. I think so too. Let's see. Oh no. What's happening to their boat? It's sinking. John began to lose hope as he watched their boat sink to the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. But... Jake refused to give up. He paddled hard and he headed in a westerly direction. How do you think Captain John is feeling right now? What do you think? How do you think he's feeling? Do you think he's feeling scared? Me too. Why might he be feeling scared? Why? Because their boat sank, right? And he's in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean with nobody around to help him except for Jake. I know I would be pretty scared if that was me. Let's see what happens. Jake swam for three days. Wow, that's an amazing dog. And three nights with John holding fast to his collar. Jake just kept going until he had paddled all the way back to South Beach. Oh, how do you think they feel? Look at them.
I bet they feel really tired. They're just laying on the beach, face down, so exhausted. Jake had saved their lives. See, look, it says, this is a, a information in a book. It says, dog saves man's life. Jake's place in nautical history is assured. Jake's famous for saving his captain. The end. Oh, that story got a little dicey there in the middle. I'm so glad it had a happy ending. I want you to think about feelings in this book. I want you to think how the characters are feeling in the beginning of the story. How their feelings change. How they're feeling in the middle of the story. And then, what happens at the end? Do their feelings change again a third time? So think about it. You can go back and listen to the story again and really think to yourself, hmm, what is happening to the character's feelings in this story? Use the words that I read and the pictures to help you decide. Bye, friends. Have a wonderful day.